We begin with a series of measurements to make sure that the tub is able to undergo the conversion. After we've determined the tub is able to undergo the conversion, we begin our measurements in marking the tub. We use templates to mark the tub for cutting. Then we use a caliper to mark the flat tub floor to make sure it's parallel with the outside of the tub wall. The section is cut out and removed from the tub. Then we prepare the tub wall end plugs. We trace each tub contour onto a 2 inch thick block and cut the contour out, creating end plugs. Next we place the end plugs into position and secure them into place. Now we begin measuring our end caps. We use a special marking tool to mark the end caps half an inch proud of the tub wall. Then we cut out the end caps. We use a router with a 3 8 roundover bit to finish the end caps with a smooth, rounded finish. Then we secure them into our end plugs. Next, we cut a support for our threshold. We use our ramp sample to figure out the location that the threshold support needs to be secured. Once that is determined, we screw the support into place. Using the ramp guide again, we determine the remaining threshold support guides. Finally, we caulk and set the non-skid threshold. We secure it to our support beam and plug the screw holes. Finally, we clean and caulk the surfaces to create a waterproof seal.